Welcome back to Slow Tech. This is your host, Adam Yasmin. I have some exciting news to share with you. Slow Tech is now officially sponsored by White 2 t White 2 t is a tea company based in Southwest China, offering bespoke Chinese teas to the Western market. They've been around since 2012 and will be around for 2,000 more years. I've personally been a fan of the company for the past decade and um, have a really fun and interesting internet friendship with the founder, Paul Murray, who is an expat from the States. He's been living permanently in Southwest China for the last 10 plus years. Y2T, interestingly, is a faceless brand and they have a strict no audio and video policy. So I submitted some questions to be answered. And I want to share this interview with you that I will be acting out for your ears only. Here we go. Question one. Every tea has their origin story. What's yours? Paul Murray answers. I moved to China full time in 2005 and visited Yunnan for the first time that summer. I'd been drinking lower quality teas for a few years, mostly from Asian grocery stores in the USA. Drinking poor tea in Yunnan was a revelation and I just became obsessed with it. I didn't really set out to start a company. It just started as an interest that sort of took over my life to the point where I've spent the last 20 something growing seasons in the tea mountains of Yunnan. Question two. Across most of the visible field of interweb tea purveyors, Y2T unabashedly sits in their own category. What are you doing to intentionally craft this mythos? Paul Murray answers. It's interesting that people might perceive it as crafting a mythos. It sounds cliche, but it's just me being myself. Maybe it's because I've chosen to be off camera in an era where everything is loudly on camera that it comes off as different. I probably just got lucky that I started at a time when you didn't have to be on mic. I guess if I started Y2T today on TikTok, I'd have three followers. One of them would be my dad, and nobody would care. Question three. Tech is integral to an online business, especially one that's operating across international borders and cultures. How do you utilize tech to craft the Y2T experience? Paul Murray answers. Social media, for all of its many, many faults, actually does serve a purpose of connecting people with niche interests around the globe. It's the only way I could have friends in so many countries who share the same daily habits as me. If I think about the people who... Shit. I'm going to keep going. If I think about the people in my immediate social circles, nobody wakes up and drinks tea all day. It's only because of tech that we're able to find each other. I've been living in China for nearly 20 years, and poor obsession is not a common thing to come across. I hate social media in general, but I'd be remiss if I didn't thank it for uniting the tea freaks. Question four. Follow up to the above. How might you reflect on your personal tech use? Paul Murray answers. It's sort of a necessary poison for me. Ideally, I could just make teas and live in a cave and people would show up and buy the tea, but I've got to promote what I do to pay the bills. And at this point, my personal use of tech and tea promotion are sort of intertwined. Question five. How do you see your expat background inform your approach to poor production? Paul Murray answers. There is a lack of cultural baggage there compared to Chinese tea makers. That's not to say all Chinese tea makers, as there are some real innovative people out there trying new things. But generally, there is a cultural norm to not buck tradition, often to their own detriment. As with any cultural tradition, there are both positive and negative aspects. I see culture as a constant conversation that is evolving in real time. I think you can respect your traditional ideals and continue to innovate to move the culture along. Otherwise, we're all just copying Titian. Question six. As an almost decade long imbiber of your teas, I found your small batch poor production starting during the earlier stages of the pandemic to be magically good. 
What drives your experimentation with production techniques? Paul Murray answers. For ripe poor production, traditionally people were using very low quality material, kind of like the spam of poor. Whatever was left over and didn't have another use just got thrown into the pile. The question for me became, what if we actually made this with quality materials and were very intentional about it? Ripe poor has usually been treated without care. A few people are starting to make it with more attention to detail and the teas reflect that. After making small batches for many years, I feel like I'm finally getting a handle on what can be done with it. Question seven. What are some of your influences, i.e. music, games, films, authors, etc.? Paul Murray answers. Whatever I'm reading, listening to, playing at the time, Warren Zevin, Wong Kar Wai, Disco Elysium, Cormac McCarthy, Dennis Johnson, some of the art I like lately. There's so much art. It all floods over you and then you get washed clean by something else. Question eight. Imagine you're now also a futurist. Where do you see tea culture evolving alongside tech in the coming decade or generation? Paul Murray answers. The cynical part of me can't find a use for tech and tea. It seems that in practice, tech will serve as a way for the new sales force of streamers to sell some god-awful tea they have no knowledge of. That's the trend in China, at least. Tech is more likely to be in service of capital than of the leaf. The optimistic view is that tech can play a meaningful role in expanding tea as a culture, bringing the idea to more people and bringing them a little bit of peace in their lives. Maybe tea streaming is the future. Instead of watching somebody play the latest AAA FPS, thousands of people will tune in to watch you, drink you, and do breathwork meditation. And with that concludes my brief interview with our brand spanking new official tea sponsor, White 2 Tea. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this experimental, fun, and playful episode. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Check out the Substack at slowtechpod.substack.com. Leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And I'll see you soon. Maybe I'll even be live streaming my uh, next tea session. You can check that out at Slow Tech Podcast on Instagram. Until then, I bid you adieu.